To invoke systemml from command line, the user has to provide the location of DML script via minus F option. The command line arguments such as $NR can be passed via minus NVRs option. The user can also specify the execution mode using minus exec option. In most cases, you will end up using hybrid spark mode or hybrid mode. Let's use linear regression as an example and consider three cases. In the first case, the data resides in, on HDFS or local file system. In the second case, we'll assume that systemml is part of a Spark workflow and data is available as RDD or data frame. In the third case, we'll assume that systemml is called by other Java program for scoring. Hence, the data is available as Java double array. The linear regression script given here and available by this URL takes at least three parameters, X, Y, and B. X refers to the location of input features, Y refers to the location of input response variables, and B refers to the location where systemml should store the estimated regression coefficient. The first case can be further divided into three subcases. The first subcase, the data resides on local file system and the user wants to use single node backend. In the second subcase, the data resides on HDFS and the user wants to use Hadoop backend. In the third subcase, the data resides on HDFS again and the user wants to use Spark backend. Let's examine the first subcase. Here the user invokes systemml using Java by providing the DML script using minus F option. And the named arguments X, Y, and B are provided using minus NVRs option. It is important to note that the second command preserves algebraic rewrites, but may also spawn local MR jobs. If you want to run the same linear regression script without a single line of change on Hadoop, you will invoke it with Hadoop jar command. The arguments will remain exactly the same, except in this case, you will provide hybrid as the execution mode. If you want to run the linear regression script on Spark cluster, you will use Spark submit command. In this case, you need not provide minus exec option as systemml will infer that you are running on Spark cluster. Now let's examine the second case where systemml is part of a Spark workflow and data is available as an RDD or a data frame. Here you, will, you can use the ML context API that offers a programmatic interface for interacting with systemml from Spark using languages such as Scala, Java, and Python. ML Context API allows the users to register RDDs and data frame as input and output variable of a DML script. This enables SystemML to seamlessly integrate into a entire Spark ecosystem. A ML Context object can be created by passing its constructor a reference of Spark context or Spark session. The script factory class allows a DML script to be created from strings, files, URLs, and input strings. Here we will use DML from file method to create the script object. The input RDDX can be passed using the in or input command. Finally, we execute the script using the execute method of ML context object. The Python ML context is similar to the Scala ML context described earlier. SystemML's Python package is available on PyPy and can be installed using the pip command. ML learn API allows a Python programmer to invoke SystemML's algorithm using a scikit-learn like API or Spark's ML pipeline API. Hence, the input data can be a NumPy array, SciPy array, a Pandas data frame, or a Spark data frame. 
Since these API conforms to the ML pipelines estimator interface, they can be used in tandem with MLLibs feature extractors, transformers, scoring and cross validation classes. The user first creates a linear regression object given here and then invokes fit and predict method. This shows the ML pipeline like API where the input to the fit method is a data frame. And the next shows the scikit-learn like API where the input to the fit method are two NumPy arrays. There are three different ways to implement a deep learning model in system ML. Using a DML bodied NN library, using the experimental CAFE2 DML API, and using the experimental Keras2 DML API. Keras2 DML API and CAFE2 DML API are instances of the ML Learn library we discussed earlier. Hence, they have fit and predict method and can take in a NumPy array or a Spark data frame as input. Underneath, uh, Keras2 DML API uh, takes a Keras model and generates an equivalent DML script. Similarly, CAFE2 DML takes as an input a deep learning model expressed in CAFE format and generates underneath the equivalent DML script. We will skip the JMLC scoring API in this video. 